We said that was significant, especially the part that this is the first UK foreign secretary that says that recognition should not be an outcome of a negotiation process, but could be an entry point to it, therefore removing this 30-year-old veto power to Israel, the, the oppressor, the occupier, to allow for recognition of the state of Palestine. So now recognition is a unilateral act and a bilateral matter between Palestine and Britain, not a trilateral act. It does not involve Israel. And we said that we need action, not words. So what are they waiting for? Rec recognition is long overdue, long overdue. It's a Palestinian right. This is not a gift. And it's a British historic moral, political, and legal responsibility given that it was Lord Balfour, a lord before Lord Cameron, who promised our land without consulting us and turned us, cancelled us as a nation. And therefore, this is a moment when they correct that historic injustice committed by Great Britain at the time, the colonial legacy. And this is a moment when they actually do it, not talk about it. There, is, there are many, many efforts by uh, our regional partners, by Qatar, by Egypt, uh, by several other uh, uh, players to try and achieve a, uh, an immediate, permanent and comprehensive ceasefire. The Netanyahu government, Netanyahu personally, uh, is, is placing his interests before the interests of the region and the world because he knows once we achieve ceasefire is a moment when he will end up in court and maybe in jail and therefore his main interest and those fanatics in his government is to maintain the aggression against our people, is to spread the conflict all over the region as you are following and, and even globally. And therefore, this is a moment when certain powers, including the US, has to enforce its full pressure on Netanyahu particularly. Otherwise, he will drag all of us into his immoral orbits of wars and reprisals and revenge and this genocidal rage that has led to the complete and utter destruction of Gaza and the murder, mass murder, of children, women, and the tens of thousands you have been reporting. So the issue is Netanyahu, the issue is Israel, and we need more pressure to enforce a ceasefire.